Hi guys, so it's day two post-op and it's about, I think it's about five o'clock at night so I had my operation two days ago and um, it's now the seventh and I had it on the fifth. Um, a few things I wanted to cover, i am just got in so I'm not really out of breath. First of all, in yesterday's video I was talking about my nipples poking out and this is what I mean. I don't know if you can see that, you probably can. And here. Now I've got small nipples but they, they're huge, they're stretched cone shape, and that's what I mean. I've been told it would take a week for them to go down, but it's very hard to cover them in any kind of top. I still have my strap in them. Second thing, this morning I thought, oh, well I'll wear a black boob tube full length because it will push the nipples in a bit. So I put it on and it rested against here. I put my jacket over the top. We were in the hotel and we were about to go out. I walked downstairs, got to the bottom of the stairs in the hotel, and suddenly, for the first time since I've had them done, I had the most extreme burning pain all across my chest and I didn't know what was going on. And there was a public, there was a public toilet in the hotel and I undone the door and there were two girls in there. One was like by the loo and the other one was taking pictures in the mirror. I was like, I need to get in, I need to get in. So they quickly, they rushed out because obviously didn't know what I was doing. I shut the door, pulled my top down and right across where I'd put this tight boot tube, it had... Um, I pulled it down and it was, it must have pushed against the implant so hard, and bearing in mind I'm two days post-op and I had something that tight against it, I quickly pulled it down to my stomach, I've still got it on my stomach now because we went off, we went out after and then I just had this over the top of like a waistcoat and oh my god the minute I pulled it down it was like relief and then um, we went out and about half an hour after that it was time for me to take my pain medication anyway but oh my god the minute I took the top off like five minutes after I felt great again but it's the first time I've had any pains since I've had them done. I brought it on upon myself and I've left a mark on my boob. I'll try and show you without showing you my nipple. Um, I'll hold the camera up here so look. I don't know if you can see. Basically here, which I'm not sure if you can see, there's a slight dip where this top's been. You know when you um, wear a tight jacket and it leaves like a mark on you? It was like that and I was like, oh my god, my new boobs! But it's gone a bit, thank god. So, yeah, and this is the size they look today. I'm not sure if they've gone down or what. Obviously, I've got my nipples look huge. And that black top which I had on, I've still got on around here, so I look a bit thicker because I've got the black boob tube down there. But seriously, if you're having a boob job and you think, oh yeah, great, well after I'll get some boob tubes because I'll be able to slip them on, I don't advise doing it. Oh my God, I was in so much pain. So just stick to strappy things. And yeah, so I can take this off in two days, the strap in. Really excited. And then I'll be wearing a sports bra, however long. Um, but yeah, except that, I feel great. We just went out and got food and there was a football game on up here. So there was tons and tons of people. I can't get over the way my nipples look. It's really embarrassing because we were outside and I had like a waistcoat on. You can still see them. They're literally impossible to hide. But I've asked loads of other girls who've had theirs done and all of them have told me, give it a week and it'll be gone. Um, it's just because no matter how small your nipple is after, it gets really stretched and pulled tight. Um, also, what I've noticed now is when I actually touch my skin, like my boob, before I couldn't really feel it, now I can feel it all. And they're actually a bit more softer. Like they're still obviously pulled tight. But when I first had it done, it's pulled tight and really shiny and that has kind of gone look I'm trying to show you about you see my skin looks normal like um just looks normal but I still can't when I touch my nipple bare my nipple can't feel it it's like it's lost all sensation at the moment so hopefully that comes back and they like shrink and then go back to normal but so yeah um except that I'm great I'm still taking my medication also I advise I've been taking Arnica this um like four times a day you just you pump out two and you tip them in your mouth and you crunch them up um four times a day so i just space it out and it's meant for bruising obviously i don't know if i've got bruising so i don't know if they're working the bit of the tiny bit of my boob i can see has no bruising but for all i know the incisions underneath when i take the strap off could be covered in purple bruises i have no idea but um i'm not sure if they're for swelling as well i've got other tablets for swelling but um like down the side I've not really got much side boobs, there's like, you see that where the implant is, it's really minimal when you look down and stuff, I've got, I haven't really got any swelling inside, and in my armpit as well, I've got like, no swelling, um, I'm really, I'd love them to stay this size, but I'm so used to going like this year and I didn't have any boobs before, and now I put my hands there and I'm like, oh, I've got boobs, it's crazy, but yeah, so two days post-op and then tomorrow will be the third. So I'll upload uh, another video and I've got to take one of these soon, two of these. I think I take two at a time, yes, two at a time.
Okay, guys. So I'm done. Um, I'll be back to update you some more soon. I need to get some new hair extensions because my hair looks like crap. And, um, yeah, I'm going. I'll update you soon. Any questions, ask below. Look at these huge nipples. When these go, I'll show you. I can't wait for them to bloody go. Okay, right, I'm going. Bye, guys.